I've been buying fake Lego for over 10 years. Sometimes they look really good, and other times they turn out really horrible. But in this video, I bought the most popular fake Lego set on all of Amazon to see how bad they can actually get. But before I found it, I had to go across the entire internet and made sure to search for very real Lego Star Wars droids. And these Lego compatible droid carriers were literally everywhere. Everyone and their mom was selling nice. one of these. Please tell me who is buying 500 of these things. Well, time to be one of them. And one day later, I got it. Thanks, Amazon. Now it's finally here, my bag of toys block. They couldn't even spell it right, come on. And inside our bag of toys block is, of course, a giant bag of fake Lego and a bunch of bags of fake Lego droids. Let's pop these open. These fakes definitely have been hitting the Lego gym because they're so much harder to put together than the real ones. 14 more to go. With all of them finished, I successfully completed my fake Lego droid army. Something about them just doesn't feel right, but there's a lot of them. Now comes the giant bag of fake Lego Amazon garbage. <laughs> this should be fun. This should help you understand why Lego uses numbered bags. This is awful. I feel like I'm building a Halo Mega Block set from 2009, and the instructions are a thousand times worse than anything I've ever seen in my life. Time for the Jedi to end. What? Everything is so tiny, I can't even see what I'm doing. Three steps in, I already hit my first snack, an impossible building technique. There are wheels that are supposed to go in the middle of this thing, but they can't go there. It's physically impossible to put this stupid piece there. So why in the instructions does it show it there? As you might expect, the rest of the build went about the same way. It was, well, awful. And my thumbs hurt. My thumbs don't usually hurt after building Lego, at least not that much. But the absolute worst part was building these droidicus. Man, they're so annoying. They should have just stuck with Lego's crappy design, but at least they can roll, right? Or bowl. Nice throw. The carrier done though, you think it'd be a good time to put droids on it, right? Well, yeah, except this way is absolutely awful. This completely sucks. Putting these droids on is not only not fun, but it's also hard to do. And if you do manage to get them on in the right way, you can put them on top and store them there. Except they won't stay up. So the entire point of this set is useless, because it's supposed to carry droids, but it can't even carry the droids. I want my Amazon points back. Even after hours, I still couldn't get these things to stay upright, and the droids kept falling off. Whew, okay, it's done. But what do we do with it now? We gotta make sure we don't contaminate the real droids with the fake ones. So I guess it could be the background of this really cool mock I made. We could also use it as a battering ram to take out the other fakers. Oh, of course, it broke again. Yay. But what we really need to do with these fake droids is burn them in the eternal flame of Mr. Woody that grows larger with every new subscriber. Oh look, it grew bigger. Now that's what I call battle roger, damage. Roger. I suddenly have the desire to burn more Lego. <laughs> anyway, I guess these things are useful, but how do they compare to the actual real Lego droids? For starters, this is what a real one's supposed to look like. Honestly, the easiest way to identify these ones would probably be the Lego logo on the chest. This one is the fake. You can tell they just look so similar, but no logo, no Lego. But if you have one that you think is a uh -oh. fake, just put it next to a real one and you can easily tell which one's actually real. The fake one uses a glossier plastic and all the way around it just looks slightly more yellow than what's actually real. And the eyes on a Lego one will always be deeper than the fake one. I don't know why. Fake ones also have terrible molding lines in this circle here. It just makes it look cheaper than the real one. So don't let Amazon <laughs> fool you. They may have five star reviews and a bunch of people buying them, but they are never going to be worth it over a real Lego set. It doesn't matter how many droids this thing comes with and how much it can help your army, it will never be worth it. Mr. Woody does not approve. Happy Star Wars week everyone and happy May 4th. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to see more videos like this or have any ideas, comment down below. I would love to hear them. May the fourth be with you, and we'll see you next time. Peace.